When the Warriors acquired Chris Paul earlier this offseason, many questioned the trade. They gave up their best young scorer and 24-year-old Jordan Poole to get a 38-year-old point guard who many would say is well past his prime. But at least on Saturday, it looked like all the doubters were already wrong. As we saw with the Thunder and the Suns, when CP3 arrives with the team, he just makes them better. That's how it felt with the Warriors as well, which is scary because unlike the other two teams I mentioned, the Warriors recently won an NBA title. There were many out there who thought the backcourt of Curry and Paul could be a little clunky due to their vastly different styles of play. But adding a future Hall of Famer and arguably the best pure point guard of all time is never going to be a problem. At this point in his career, he's arguably more unselfish than ever, and is okay with being less of a scorer than in the years past. Even his stat line from yesterday likely won't wow you, at 6 points, 5 assists, and 4 rebounds, but he just made the game easier for everyone around him. It looks like the Warriors might be better at dissecting defenses than ever before, which is really saying something. Heck, the Warriors might even be right to keep him in the starting lineup. The first big move of Mike Dunleavy's tenure as GM was heavily criticized, but it looks like a great one early on. Chris Paul is the perfect fit for the Warriors. Now let's take a deeper look at why. Before we get into the Warriors' new Hall of Famer in the backcourt, if you enjoy my content and watch a few videos of mine, think about subscribing. 96% of my viewers are actually not subscribed, so if you watch me before and enjoy the content, drop a sub and comment down below. It really helps the channel. In a preseason opener that captured the attention of Golden State Warriors fans, Chris Paul wasted no time in showcasing the precise reasons behind general manager Mike Dunleavy Jr.'s decision to bring in the 18-year veteran guard during the offseason. During the early moments of the second quarter and the Warriors' victory against the Lakers on Saturday night, Paul subtly signaled to Steph Curry, suggesting that he set a ball screen. Curry eagerly complied, but rather than using his full 185 pound frame to set a solid screen on Lakers forward Torian Prince, he deftly slipped the screen. This maneuver left Lakers guard Gabe Vincent in a state of confusion, seemingly anticipating a defensive switch by Prince. As is common knowledge among NBA defenses, even a split second of breathing room spells trouble when facing Curry. True to form, Curry switched a three-pointer with nothing but net after receiving the assist from Paul. Paul ranks among the NBA's all-time greats when it comes to handling the ball, while Curry is arguably the best player when operating without it. For the upcoming season, forcing defenses to choose their poison will be a fundamental aspect of the Warriors' offensive strategy, and this was showcased in a single play during Saturday's game. There's a pace to the game that is fun to watch as a coach, when you just kind of know he's going to be making the right play over and over. Warriors coach Steve Kerr said of Paul after the game, he understands when we need to pull it back and get into an action or play faster because he understands the rhythm of the game. So Chris is amazing, really fun to have him on our side, finally. Another reason behind the Warriors' acquisition of Paul, who recorded 6 points and 5 assists in his 13-minute debut, is to improve their late-clock offense. While Coach Kerr's offense relies on swift ball movement and quick execution, there are instances when it falters. What happens when the shot clock is winding down? Last season, Golden State ranked 20th in the NBA in offensive efficiency during the final 4 seconds of the shot clock, according to Synergy Sports. During the playoffs, they struggled to find alternatives beyond Curry, prompting Kerr to emphasize the team's need for additional offensive options or counters this season. On Saturday night, Paul demonstrated how he can be the solution in such critical situations. In the middle of the second quarter, as the shot clock was ticking down to single digits, CP3 took a page from the old playbook. He signaled for center Kavon Looney to come over and set a ball screen then skillfully maneuvered into the lane. With a deceptive head fake, he froze Lakers big man Jackson Hayes and smoothly executed a floater, a shot he's perfected countless times. It was about as close to automatic as it gets. Curry described the fit with Paul as seamless when training camp began, and the preseason opener solidified that sentiment. 
Their chemistry was so evident that they even shared a hearty laugh on the sidelines when Jonathan Kuminga delivered a rapid fire pass to Curry, who was standing on the sideline and checked out of the game. Worries about injuries? Of course. Defensive challenges? Maybe. However, up to this point, the Curry-Paul backcourt is living up to the high expectations. What should unnerve the rest of the league is that their effectiveness will only get better as they grow more accustomed to each other and impart their wisdom to the younger members of the Warriors squad. Chris Paul is the perfect fit for the Warriors. Thanks for watching. I'm Herm. Have a good one.